Hello guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how to use Google Forms to create surveys. But before we begin, please hit that like button to show us your support and help our videos reach more people. Now let's get started. Are you using Google Forms to create surveys? Google Forms are widely used to create surveys for different purposes. You can gather information for your research, clients, or planning future events. You can collect information efficiently. You need to have a Google account to use the Google Form. You can access Google Forms as you sign in to your Google account. Click this icon, scroll down, and look for Forms. You can also search for Google Forms, then click on this link. You'll be redirected to this page where you can start creating a new form. You can also use these templates depending on the purpose of creating a Google Form. Click this option to create a new form. In the top section, it shows the tabs, questions, responses, and settings. Going back to the questions tab, this section allows you to write a title or a name for your survey form. Next, write a description for your form. This allows people to learn what the purpose of this survey form is about. Next, write your question here. On the right side, click this icon and you'll see a list of options to choose from. You can set a short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, file upload, linear scale, multiple choice grid, check box grid, date and time. Now, if you need to get the information of people who are participating in your survey, these options will serve their purpose. When asking for the name of the participant, we can choose a short answer here. Click the Add icon again to add another question. We can ask about the age of the participant, then set it as multiple choice. Add the options here. Now set questions relevant to the survey. You can ask three or more questions to get data from your participants. Next, add another question. Select the checkboxes option to allow users to select multiple options. Set the options for each question as the data that you want to gather from your participants. You can set each question to be required. This won't allow people to submit the form unless they provide an answer. You need to select each question and enable the option required. Now test out your survey form. Click the send button to send it to an email. Try to answer and submit it. The form can be answered within the email or the receiver can be redirected to the Google Forms link. Check and see if the goals that you need to achieve by using the survey can be met. As the user submits the form, you can view all the responses under the Responses tab. You may notice that if you include multiple options for a question, it may show as a graph or a chart. Online surveys are a great way to reach more people to participate in your survey, and using Google Forms can help you with that. So that's it for today's video. But before the video ends, here's something you shouldn't miss. If you need help to make courses and training, we have a marketing app that can help you create your own online courses that actually get sales. Create amazing courses with Udemy great customer experience. It includes profit and conversion boosting plugins. It integrates a popular payment system. It even supports video courses on any platform. It has a rich interaction with built-in comments, reviews, and questions. Create awesome courses. It would be easy for you to set up and your students will love the user-friendly experience. Access dozens of ready-made templates for everything. Customize your course themes to make it feel unique with their branding. Students can resume course playback where they left it. So try Course Funnels now. Go to the URL getcoursefunnels.in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.